Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn uh, how to get a list of enabled or disabled check constraints in SQL Server database. Uh, so where you come up with this situation, uh, maybe you are uh, uh, taking a look on the database and uh, one of the column maybe you have uh, uh, is first name. You see some weird uh, uh, values in that. Maybe you see, okay, uh, there is a value called Amir and uh, you have a uh, hyphen or maybe there is a value called Amir and you have three in front of it and you thought, okay, I have created the check constraint on the first name column in this table. Why I'm getting these values? Why my check constraint is not working? So there could be a scenario where somebody has gone and disabled the check constraint on that column. So first of all, we will take a look on the graphical user interface if we can find the disabled or enabled the check constraints. So let's open Tech Brothers IT and go to tables. And here I know that I created a check constraint on DBO customer table. So if I will go to the constraints here, I see that there is a check constraint. Now. I don't really see any like a green or red or anything that tells me like this is enabled or disabled. So fine, no big deal. I'm going to find that out. Also, I go to the employee USA, U, sorry, employee USA and uh, we have a constraints here. You see, I have a check constraint for the first name and I have a constraint, a check constraint for the last name. I can't really tell if any of them is disabled like red or green or something arrow up or down that doesn't tell me okay now if I need to find out from here I can do one thing I can right click on the um, table go to the script table as and create to no uh, new query and open it now this is giving me the definition of a table this tells me create table DBO custom DBO employee USA and uh, this, these are the columns and then after that we have alter script that's where we can see that uh, which constraints are created so we say alter table this uh, table DBO employee USA with no check so you see that add check constraint so this clause tells us this constraint on the first name is disabled so on if you take a look on the last name constraint you see that with check it means always check so when you have a with no check it means this constraint is disabled now let's try that out and insert some values insert into dbo employee usa and then i'm going to insert for f name and l name only two i don't care about street and all that and i will say values so if i will say amir and then the last value, sorry, Amir, and then comma, and the last name Shahzad. Now, if we will insert this value, let's see if it will go in. Okay, the object does not exist because we are incorrect uh, database scope. So we have to select the database here. Now we are in, in the correct and uh, the value is inserted. Uh, let me just take a look on the records so i can create a select query for you select asterisk from this table we see that a record went in just fine now that's good but now what we have to do we have to check this part you see that this check constraint is disabled on f name what it is saying actually now a to z only accept a to z that's what the constraint definition is so don't accept anything beside a to z characters but if i'm putting four it if the constraint would be enabled it will throw error but as the constraint is disabled it is going to let the record go in so if i insert here you see that the record is inserted successfully now if i will see the record let me take this up so you see that Amir and there is a number four is inserted because the constraint is disabled. Now, if I will, as the constraint is enabled on the last name, so if I will try to insert four or three or anything here, when we are saying only accept the characters from A to Z, this should throw error as constraint is enabled. So we can go ahead and insert. Now you see that constraint last name that's a creative problem and we see that which column last name so that's 
that's where you see that the constraint can be disabled and there is no straightforward uh, graphical way to find out uh, so you have to have used some system views or tables to find out that I have a, a query for you here so we are using a sys dot check constraints uh, system view and uh, this uh, this uh, view return us one of the column called is disabled so when uh, is disabled is zero then means uh, no when uh, it is enabled when it is one then it means yes uh, so I just wrote a case statement instead of uh, just giving you one and zero and saying uh, if it if it is is disabled or not you will see just zero and one uh, I given you these uh, um, text uh, yes and no no big deal but when you run this one uh, select DB name so it is going to return us the database name we are uh, getting the schema name uh, by using uh, the schema name function it accepts the schema ID that comes from uh, sys dot check constraints uh, so this column is there and we get the table schema and then we want the table name so we use the object name function as we have the object ID present in this uh, view so we use this uh, as an input parameter to the object name function and that returns us the table name and we have the definition and then I use a case statement and I'm saying when is disabled zero then no and else yes and as a new column is disabled so you run this query and it is going to return you this information you see DB name table name uh, table schema table name and definition and here you see that is disabled so this is not disabled and uh, we have also checked the this the last name was not disabled but this one is disabled so you can use a sys dot check constraint uh, system view to see if uh, your uh, constraints are enabled or disabled and you will be using is uh, underscore disabled uh, column from this uh, view and uh, I hope uh, you learned something out of it and in cases uh, where uh, you feel that uh, your this record should not go in and it is there it means uh, somebody has uh, disabled the constraint or maybe they have disabled it and insert the data and then re-enabled it so check constraint will work but uh, maybe there is there is some special scenario you have to disable and you want to insert whatever comes uh, and then re-enable so different scenarios but you know that how to check if the a check constraint is enabled or disabled. Thanks very much for watching this video and uh, I will have this query on Tech Brothers IT website for you and put the link in the description. I will see you guys in the next video.